Yeah, yeah, Michael. Why are you so sad, man? After that karyology lecture, man, I was just so worried about those kids eating all the candy and not going to the dentist. Strep mutants. <laughs> well, who are they gonna see? What are they gonna do? Well, don't be too sad, Michael. There's a new teledentistry bill, AB 1174, that's in the pro process of going to Senate. And with this new bill, um, dental hygienists can, t can treat kids right then and there at school. Whoa, like, can you imagine not having to take your kids to the dentist? That's pretty convenient. Yeah, not only is it convenient, but it's also technologically advanced and safe. Um, dental hygienists can take portable x-rays and chairs to community centers and schools and um, send the information to the supervising dentist and the dentist can diagnose the treatment right then and there. I feel so much better, Christina. There is hope for improving access to care for children. That's true. Hey Daniel, I bet you 10 bucks you can't tell me one dental benefit from Obamacare. Oh, Michael, <laughs> Michael, you chose the wrong person. Okay, so at the beginning of this year, the Obamacare, also known as the Affordable Care Act, has mandated that pediatric dental benefits be provided to every person buying insurance. What this means is that in California, more children would get access to dental benefits than ever before. Oh, and this is because all small and private insurances are now required to provide the 10 essential health benefits, and pediatric dentistry is one of them. So uh, one question left unanswered about this is the quality of care and the access of care that these children are able to receive, and how general practitioners, such as our future selves, are able to handle such transitions. Boom! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Students, it has come to my attention that you guys are all studying way too hard, have no social lives, not interacting with each other. So my challenge to you today is to reach out to your classmates and just talk about something you guys have in common. Dentistry, maybe? But anyways, going on with today's lecture, we're going to talk about the 2014 spending bill recently signed by our very own President Barack Obama. and. Um, the good news about this bill is if you're going on to uh, general dentistry or pediatric residencies, both programs are getting funded $8 million this year, which is a little bit more than the $0 million last year <laughs> it got from the sequester. Um, other good news is the CDC Division of Oral Health is going to be getting almost $15 million, which is about a million dollars more than last year, um, for research and advocacy. Um, and more good news is uh, other dental program funding remained largely unchanged when their programs did get cut, but the dental portion of the funding didn't get changed. Um, Indian Health Services funding is not set at an exact amount due to a technical issue. Okay class, that was a summary of the 2014 spending bill. Um, Hope you guys learned a lot, and remember what I, my challenge to you today is reaching out to your fellow classmates. I have a question. Yes. Is this going to be on the test? Yes. Hey guys, I'm Michael. I'm Christina. I'm Daniel. Thanks for watching our February legislative update. Uh, be sure to check out uh, the links on the email for more information about the articles. And don't forget to tune in next month.